Hello, welcome to our Fiber Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this tutorial session by taking a brief look at detecting and avoiding server problems. Do you monitor your Firebird logs at all? Just monitoring these things from time to time can help you understand your database. Noticing the 10.053s, the disconnect from peer, just noticing things that users don't realize are going wrong, even though there are indications in there. The number of rows in the log file per day, how it's growing, and what's causing it. Having all that information with you as a software maintainer can be very useful. So, check your Firebird logs from time to time. If the server simply doesn't react, check the Windows event log as well. When the daily log starts to increase in size, look for the causes. For example, that the server is often restarted. The cause of frequent Firebird server reboots is often due to UDFs, User Defined Functions. Writing robust UDFs is vital. Poorly written UDFs can lead to technical suicide if you are not familiar with memory management. Writing the UDF isn't necessarily the problem. The problems start if you don't have a good knowledge of memory management. If two processes are using the same UDF simultaneously, and there is no multi-thread memory management, it may well lead to server instability, which can be traced in the Firebird log file. If you need a special UDF, for example for geodata, where you have certain GPS coordinates and you need to calculate the distance from A to B, consider taking an existing UDF from a library such as Free Ad Hoc UDF, which has a few hundred different functions, and complement as necessary. So, we recommend use only robust UDF libraries, such as RFUNC or Free Ad Hoc UDF, and check every UDF you've written yourself, not just once, but at least 10 times. Check that the correct FB client DLL or GDS32 DLL version is on all server and clients. If you're using two different Firebird interface flavors concurrently, check that the correct FB client DLL or GDS32 DLL version is installed on the server and all clients. You'd be amazed how often DBAs are surprised by this, or a previously undiscovered DLL suddenly turns up, because somewhere there is an old Interbase version installed, and maybe even still running. When you start your Firebird 2 database, it tries to work with the old DLL. So ensure that at least the correct client library is available in your application directory for the application's database version. The DLL in the application directory is always the one that is used first. Remove any old redundant interbase versions, as they can possibly a source of problems. Use the IB Expert communication diagnostics to test connect to your server. This gives you additional information about how the connection is being made, etc. Following analysis of the error message returned, you can attempt a connection at TCP IP level and by pinging the server. If the server cannot be found using the ping command, then it isn't a Firebird problem. Perhaps the DNS entry cannot be recognized. Please refer to the IB Expert Services menu item Communication Diagnostics in the IB Expert online documentation at www.ibexpert.com for further information. So that was our introduction to detecting and avoiding server problems. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next topic in our series for DB admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert.